Hey there, viewers! Welcome back to 2230, your go-to channel for insightful discussions on Asian politics and current affairs. Today, we're delving into a recent interview featuring Inderjit Singh, a former member of parliament for Ong Mokyo GRC, where he highlighted the pressing need for the People's Action Party PAP, to reconnect with the grassroots and understand the real issues facing Singaporeans. In the interview conducted by Mr. Visvasa Dasavan, chief editor of IQ, Inconvenient Questions, and published by Rice Media, Mr. Singh emphasized the importance of conveying empathy and assurance to the people of Singapore. He stressed that the PAP leaders must move beyond surface-level engagement, such as TikTok videos, and truly immerse themselves in understanding the challenges faced by ordinary Singaporeans. Mr. Singh's message revolves around the idea of trust. He highlights the erosion of trust in the government and the imperative for the PAP to regain it by demonstrating a genuine understanding of people's concerns and a commitment to addressing them. This sentiment resonates deeply with the evolving landscape of Singaporean politics, where voter perceptions play a crucial role in shaping electoral outcomes. One of the key issues discussed in the interview is the timing of the PAP leadership handover. Both Mr. Singh and Mr. Sadasavan suggest that July or August would be the most opportune period for this transition. Prime Minister Lee Shin Long's announcement to pass the leadership baton to Deputy Prime Minister Lawrence Wong before the next general election, possibly in November 2025, underscores the significance of this impending change. Mr. Singh also draws attention to the 2024 budget, which he describes as an election budget. He suggests that the government might leverage this budget to make election-related announcements and offer incentives to voters. However, he cautions against viewing such measures as mere attempts to win votes, emphasizing the need for genuine solutions to pressing issues like the cost of living and housing. The discussion touches upon the challenges faced by the PAP in recent elections, particularly regarding shifting voter behavior. Mr. Singh candidly acknowledges the party's shortcomings in addressing critical issues like the cost of living and housing, attributing them to a job not well done by the government. He highlights the disconnect between the party's assumptions and the evolving realities of voter preferences, citing the unexpected loss in Sengkang GRC despite expectations of support from young families during the COVID-19 crisis. Mr. Singh's insights shed light on the changing dynamics of Singaporean politics, where traditional allegiances are being challenged, and voter preferences are increasingly influenced by factors beyond mere economic considerations. He warns against underestimating the electoral strength of opposition parties like the Workers' Party, noting their ability to attract significant support, particularly among younger voters. As we navigate through these complex political landscapes, Mr. Singh's reflections serve as a valuable reminder of the importance of grassroots engagement, trust-building, and adaptability in the realm of governance. The upcoming elections pose a critical test for the PAP, requiring them to re-evaluate their strategies and reconnect with the aspirations of the Singaporean people. What are your thoughts on Mr. Singh's observations? Do you agree with his assessment of the challenges facing the PAP? Share your views in the comments below, and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to 2230 for more engaging discussions on Asian politics and beyond.